Most daddy-daughter dates include movies, dinner, or dances. But for Walter Heathcock and daughter Arlen, they do it a little differently. They hunt nutria. Uh, they were brought to the United States in the late 1800s with the intention of starting fur farming. Nutria found Louisiana coastland perfect habitat for them. When nutria harvest declined, the nutria population increased dramatically. Walter, what extent of damage have you seen out here from nutria? Well, from the nutria, I've seen your green grass go to mudflats. But in recent years, using coastal restoration money, they've put a $5 bounty on the tails and opened up a recreational season from September to the end of February, and that has made a difference. Good day, you kill over 100. I mean, we've done killed up to 200 in a day. And the best conditions for hunting nutrients is right after a cold front, where it's still real cold, but the sun's shining. You're driving and you see a nutria and you just like can hurry up and shoot it. I don't know, it's just like a fast action and I guess it's really fun. But I'd say it's close to like squirrel hunting or duck hunting, something like that. So what happens to all this high protein meat after the hunt's over? Sadly, most of it goes to waste. But if you can get past those orange teeth and that long rat tail, talk to some camp chefs or gourmet restaurant cooks and you may change your mind. With the Fish and Game Report, Don Dubuque, Eyewitness News.